Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, you know, we've been talking about some crypto stuff, you know, stable coins. You know, I had mentioned smart contracts and, you know, I, I briefly talked about what they were, but I kind of want to go in more to like, you know, what it is and how they, you know, how they work, you know, and the need to know, right? So let's kind of start off with like what it is, right? A smart contract is a self-executing contract with the terms of the agreement between buyer and seller, right? They're going to be directly written into the lines of code. Now, this code and the agreements contained therein, th these are going to exist across a uh, distributed, decentralized blockchain network. The code is going to control the execution, uh, and the transactions are trackable and irreversible, right? So smart contracts, uh, they're going to permit trusted transactions and agreements to be carried out among you know, uh, disparate, anonymous parties without the need for a central authority a legal system, or external enforcement mechanism. So, you know, and I mean, while the blockchain technologies come to be thought of as primarily as the foundation for Bitcoin, I mean, really, you know, it's evolved way beyond the underpinning, you know, the, the virtual currency, right? So let's jump into, you know, how these smart contracts work, right? You know... They, they sound complicated, and, you know, when people talk about them, it's like, oh, you know, like, you know, what's that? Well, all right, well, let's get into it. So smart contracts, these were first proposed back in the 90s uh, by a guy named Nick, right? Uh, I think his last name is Sabo. It's either, I think it's Sabo, Nick Sabo. Um, he's an American uh, computer scientist who invented a virtual currency called BitGold, right, uh, in the late 90s, um, you know, this is 10 years before Bitcoin, right? Like a whole decade. So, you know, this guy, uh, Sabo, right? He's often rumored to be the real uh, Satoshi Nakamoto, right? That's that's the anonymous inventor of Bitcoin, right? Of course, you know, which he's, you know, he's denied. So, uh, you know, Sabo's defined smart contracts as computerized transaction protocols that execute terms of a contract. So basically, he wanted to extend the functionality of electronic transaction methods, such as a POS, right, a, a point of sale, to the digital realm. So he wrote this paper, right? And in his paper, he also proposed the execution of a contract for uh, synthetic access, right, such as derivatives and bonds. Um, he wrote in there, um, you know, these new securities are formed by combining securities such as bonds and derivatives, right, options and futures, in a wide variety of ways. Very complex term structures for payments can now be built into standardized contracts and traded with low transaction costs, due to computerized analysis of these complex term structures. Um, I would recommend, like, you know, if you really want to go see kind of, like, the the foundation of, like, these smart contracts and, like, how, I mean, this guy was really smart. Like, you could go look that paper up if you want. Um, you know, again, his name's Nick Sabo. It's S-Z-A-B-O. I'll try to leave a link down below if I can remember to. Um, you know, it, it's... It's a lengthy read, but, you know, I would say it's it's somewhere to start, right? So I kind of want to put most of this in simple terms, right? Um, I mean, basically, so this guy is referring to the sale and purchase of derivatives with just complex terms, right? So a lot of his predictions, though, in that paper came true in ways preceding blockchain technology, which is why I would say it's a it's an interesting read. It's kind of a it's something kind of hard to get through if you're not into this stuff. But like it's really crazy to see how, you know, years, decade before, you know, the blockchain technology and Bitcoin just how far ahead he really was, right? I mean, just you think ten, you know, he came up with basically something like Bitcoin 10 years before Bitcoin, right? But as an example, uh Let's talk about the, the derivatives trading is now it's mostly conducted through computer networks using these complex term structures, right? 
you know, these these trades are done lightning fast. You know, some of these brokers and some of these you know, trading companies and just they just their trend their transactions are happening in you know less than a second or i mean we're talking milliseconds right they it's just i know there used to be bidding wars for how close people could get to the servers just to have you know fractionally fast you know over their competition for like their trading and their data right it's just crazy um so then you know what really do you need to know about smart contracts right like what is it what is it that, like, what's the bottom line? What do you need to know? Like, what's going on, right? Okay. So, bottom line, smart contracts. These are self-executing contracts with the terms of the agreement between the buyer and seller being, uh, you know, directly written in the line of codes. So, basically, you're going to come up with, like, I'm going to sell you this. You're going to give me this, you know, that in return, right? So, as soon as you give me that you get like my Bitcoin or my Ethereum or whatever it is, right? And so as soon as a transaction, ha it's automatic. As soon as everything is met, it's done, right? Everything's, there's no middle person. There's no, you know, going to the bank to borrow money to buy the house, right? You go buy the house and that, you know, that's how the contract works, right? It's just directly between two people. There is no middle person, right? So Nick Sabo, he's going to be an American computer scientist who in basically invented a virtual crypt, you know, a virtual currency like, uh, you know, like Bitcoin. Right. But he called it bit gold. Right. And he, of course, you know, he did this in 1998, 10 years before Bitcoin. Right. And he defined smart contracts as computerized transaction protocols that execute terms of a contract. Here's the terms of a contract. Right. And this smart contract, this this com these lines of code automatically get executed as soon as the conditions are met, right? So the last thing, and, you know, kind of important, honestly, smart contracts render transactions traceable, transparent, and irreversible. There is no tasty backsies or, you know, none of that stuff. Like, it, it's just when it happens, it's all, it's over with, it's done, it's on the blockchain, there's no going back. So keep these things in mind. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, I'd really appreciate you giving this video a like. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Right? Until I see you guys in the next video, y'all stay safe.